I know, well, it's not like, okay. Alrighty, hi everyone. Here's my audience for today. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, guys. So, how many of you have ever felt like you can't juggle all the things that we have to do as um, students? A few of you? Yes, well, I have felt the exact same way. So today, I'm going to be chatting with us a little bit about how we can kind of combat that and how we can stay organized using a handy-dandy, I'll hold it up for you, planner. So I feel like I'm a pretty um, good person to talk about this because I am pursuing two majors here at um, Ball State. So I have to take about 18 credit hours per semester. This semester, I'm actually taking um, 21. And so I know what it's like to have to um, time manage. On top of that, I also work about 20 hours per week and I'm in a decent amount of student groups. So doing all that, I've still been able to maintain a um, 3.9 GPA. And I highly um, attribute that to the fact that I keep a very detailed planner. And that kind of helps me make the most of my time and just make sure that I'm getting the most out of my time here at um, Ball State. And as some of us, raised our hands that we are um, feeling overwhelmed sometimes, so I don't want you to feel like you are not the only ones who feel that way. Because in a recent survey by the National College Health Assessment, over 40% of students in, in school say that they feel just overwhelmed by the amount that they, that, that they have to do in school. So this is a pretty prevalent thing to um, talk about. And hopefully by the end of this speech, you're going to feel a little um, more capable to go through school very successful and with this planner um, by your side. So specifically today, I'm gonna be chatting with us about what you need in order to keep this planner, how to go about finding one, and the steps and the ways that you can keep it organized. So this, you, you don't need a lot to keep this planner. Um, the only things I would say that you are gonna need is the actual planner. You're gonna need some kind of schedule. So things that you are doing, things that you are pursuing, you're gonna wanna have those dates written down in kind of this um, schedule form. I currently have one in my class um, syllabi, syllabi with me. And then you're also gonna want it is unpacked. So you don't need that many things, but what you put in it um, will turn out to be a decent uh, amount. So now the question is, how do we go about finding this um, planner? Well, the good thing is there are planners at nearly every store, um, and there are m many different kinds. Some people keep them on their phone. Some people like to have the actual um, hard copy. That's what I um, prefer. But in terms of finding one, you're able to kind of go to many different places, and they are there. So whether they're a big planner or a small planner, or they have calendars, or they have quotes, um, there's a lot of different variations that will kind of relate back to you and will make it much uh, better for you to feel motivated to kind of keep looking at this planner and to keep it kind of by your side. So the kind that I personally like is one of the bigger ones and it's complete with um, a big calendar that has a lot of space for me to write in, but then it also breaks down the months into uh, days. And so when I'm feeling pretty stressed, I can go in there and I can write down exactly what I'm doing on those specific days. So there are many different kinds. Um, I would say some benefits or some things just to keep in mind as you're looking for planners is that the smaller the, the planner is, the less space you're going to have to write things down. So just keeping that in mind. And then also the smaller it can be, it might be easier to misplaced. So just some things to keep in mind and as I said mine has different ways to write stuff down and so it provides me with um, multiple spaces to document things I'm doing and different ways to kind of keep that uh, keep, just to kind of keep sure that I'm keep me sure that I'm doing everything that I need to be doing. So now we're going to kind of chat about the steps that once I finally found this planner, how am I going to go about making sure that I'm able to follow it and it kind of keeps me on track. So as I said, I would take this um, date after you kind of gather everything that you're doing for that semester. If you've seen when you have assignments coming up, I would take this sheet and I would open it up and I would shoot if I'm right here in um, March, I would take this and I would go through and I would write down when I have things due. So if I have something due on March um, 23rd, I would just write down what that is and then it would be there for me to look at. I would do the same for the 30th, the, um, the um, 28th. Any day that you have something due, go ahead and write that down. And then you have to also think about um, adding in times that you're spending with friends. You have to think about adding in times that you just want for yourself. I would say think of this planner as not only for things that are due, but also for things that you 
But they might not have a specific due date, but are things that you want to um, put in there that will kind of keep you centered. Um, so you, you kind of want to add all those in. And then as your day goes on and as your day um, progresses, you're going to want to be uh, checking back at it. So when I complete something and after you guys have completed something on your um, planner, you're, I go in and I put a little um, check mark. That shows me that it's done, everything's completed, and that's good to go. Now we all know that when days go by, we don't always get everything done that we want to do so if there's ever something that I don't get done that I knew I needed to I don't put my little um check mark but I do go in and I kind of mark it I mark it so it's pretty visible that I didn't do it yet and so coming back the following day or whenever I get around to it I can go back in and see that that needs to be done and then make sure to complete it and then put a little check mark that it's done and then something I like to do is after you are completing stuff and going through your um steps that needs to be completed, then you can go in and mark out the days. This just helps you kind of, I can stay on track, okay, I know it's not the six because that day is crossed out, but I know what the date actually is. So by going in and kind of crossing um, things out, you just stay up to date on what's happening. And then another step that we can keep in mind is you don't only have to plan it out by your month, you can also plan it out from day to day. So if there's a week where you're feeling very overwhelmed and you have a lot on, on your plate, then what you can do is on a specific day you can go in from Monday through Sunday and mark exactly the things you need to do and you can even go in and mark the hours that they need to be done. This just makes sure that you're staying kind of on track or able to manage everything that you um, want to do and that you're able to do so in a really successful way. So again, kind of going back to what we chatted on today, it's a pretty common thing for students not to feel that comfortable with all that, that, that they have to do, but by keeping this planner and by having a way to kind of stay on top of everything that you're kind of forced to do in this really busy time, it's going to help you stay more organized and it's also going to help you be able to make the most out of the time that you um, spent here. So specifically, we talked about the things that you need to keep this planner. We chatted about how to find a planner and where you can do so and then we talked about the different steps that might go into um, keeping one and just ma making sure that we are able to be successful and be very um, super students as we progress through school. Alright, thank you guys. Here's my audience one more time.